Hey, Marina. Hello, how are you doing? Doing okay, how about yourself? Pretty good. Another day of meetings and then the weekend. Yep, almost there. So we wanna give people five minutes or give up on them at this point? Yeah, maybe we'll give them two more minutes. <laughs> Trishak might show. Yeah, he might. Guess I can just copy this from the previous one, make it easier. Did Justin give you commit access yet? Yes, I have commit access. I merged um, just to you know make sure I could do it. I merged it with the first um, implementation one. So good. Yep. All can. I should probably go through and merge some of the other old ones, but yeah, I was starting to look through those and figure that might be the best use of helping you out today. Yeah, maybe we, we'll, we'll probably have time today, so we can just maybe do a quick backlog, see what things we can just get done. I like that plan. It is always faster when everyone's online at the same time, so that's nice. Okay, <laughs> one minute ran out of water. Oh, yeah. No Trishak yet. Yeah, we can really get started. You can join in. Um, yeah, so the first thing is I got commit access, so I was able to make this project board and start kind of getting us organized. So, so that's what that is. It, I don't know, there's nothing really new on here. I think I, I opened some new issues, but they're for stuff we've been talking about just to get them organized um, there. So I don't know if other people can add to this, but if you can, feel free to. Otherwise, tag me and I can do that um, if okay. there's anything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add. And then, yeah, and then implementation status. I think it's, uh, we've got one open PR and I'm also working on um, improving delegations in GoTuff because I think the next piece of the CLI will, will require that. And I'd rather, you know, get that fully functional first before I try and use it. Um, so that's kind of why it's a little bit stalled, but that's, you know, stuff is happening. <laughs> That's the way a lot of these go. Yeah. Start on your project and you realize you need to get some PRs approved on the other side. Yep. So um, yeah, I'm figuring, figuring all that out. So that's kind of what's going on. And then, yeah, we, maybe we can spend a minute going through some of the old um, sure. issues. I think some of the stuff probably I just need to click merge on. So let's we can just, here we first. Let's see. I'm just getting ready to share my screen. In that case, I will switch my windows around one more time. Keep flipping which one's on the right and which one's on the left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay. Open PRs. Start at the beginning. This one, let's see. Had some comments and responded to. This is just the, the kind of um, pre-CLI demo version of this. Um, I don't know if we should need it, but um, I should probably should make it not a draft. That's probably the first step to this move the line. <laughs> um, how do I do that? It is. There and do we want to pull this one in now as is and then change it later on with the changes to the command line you're making? Is that kind of the thought process? Yeah, I think that that's kind of my idea. This is just kind of like um, showing what the goal of the, the, the CLI is, and then later this will actually be you know, all integrated. Um, 
yeah, I guess we can we can merge this and then yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah, merge it and then update it so that people can play with it today, but then it can also be living. Um, in that case, give you my little approval there. I should probably set up um, branch protection or something on here, but that's separate. Cool. That one done. This one, I actually have some ideas for updating this one, but this is the, the, the stuff here isn't wrong. I just have some additional ones I want to add for like, you know, moving artifacts between repositories and things. But um, this is just kind of the proposed steps. And I, I think I've already changed the these commands a bit as I'm trying to actually implement it. But yeah. What's the backslash after each of these commands? That it made it render better, at least locally. Let me see. Oh, is it forcing a line feed? Is that what that's doing? Yeah, it's forcing. It's forcing the the new line because Mark okay. don't ignore the new line. And then this one, I guess, is wrong. <laughs> There's always one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's definitely something I should fix. Um, That's causing that. Oh, that's weird. This doesn't makes it not show. The, um, anyway, the I, I should start with the, the markdown rendering of this, actually, I think. The the um angle brackets there are usually to denote a URL. Yeah, I think that they and then so they make them not show up. So, and I so should, just throw it in a back tick around yeah. those sections. So roll and the registry repository would have back ticks around those. Yeah, so I'll just do this one and I'll fix the rest of them um, later. But <laughs> something like that, I should probably fix it. Yeah, because that's that standard markdown. Whenever you've got the, the angle brackets, is a del is it's a reference to a URL. Yeah. So okay, so I'm making it to um, fix the the markdown rendering and also probably add the the new commands to this before we merge it in. So okay. That one's on me. Where does she upload? Um, I'm not sure the best way to mark that that had happened, but <laughs> uh, there's that. This was the, um, the, the recent PR, just getting um, registry stuff working. Um, oh yeah, so you looked at this one. Yeah, that, that was my, it looks good to me just as a visual scan. I didn't actually pull everything down and run it like I normally would, but figured it's okay good enough yeah, i mean it me. works for for me i mean that's not I, I'm, I'm working on getting better testing automation stuff so that we can test that better but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm tempted to think it works but i don't i don't know um, yeah got my got my thumbs up i think i'll merge it for now i think as we get more stuff in there we can get stricter about testing and things um yeah that's right. kind of my thought process nobody's yeah. depending on this we can always make another PR later on if something goes wrong. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and that way you can just get it moving. Okay, cool. Sample metadata. Oh, this was just the um, all of these files that I was demoing last week. And this um, one, this was where we were talking about potentially if we wanted to change that target syntax at the very end. Oh yeah, on the um, one seventy eight, and that's yeah. Oh yeah, that's this something where I'm not. It, it was giving you feedback, but it's not something I would say you have to hold this up if you wanted to look into that and then submit another PR later on that changed yeah. how that looked. That would be fine as well. But yeah, maybe I'll move just for now is like the current plan. And then because I, I want to make sure that I think that it should be possible again to do that as like an interface on top of GoTuff, but I just want to make sure that that work before committing to it. Yeah. Um, at the very I? least, I do think that we can put the, the full, um, what's it called? The, um, Photo scripter. Yeah, the scripter, sorry, in, in, in this custom, um, just so that it's in there somewhere. People can look at it. Should I just throw an issue on this repo to say look into the GoTuff to see about making an interface? Or yeah, that would be great. Yeah. And just look into yeah, yeah, how to sign the descriptors. And then we could we I think I think there should be a way to make that happen.
because it likely will be something that we'll do in this repo and not in GoTuff itself, although we might make GoTuff more flexible to make that happen. So, yeah. Cool. So I'll just merge this for now and then we can um, update as we figure that out. Sounds good to me. Cool. Oh, and then, yeah, I. I this is my attempt at my, my first try at doing GitHub Actions. So I'm not really sure how to test it. That's my main hesitation with this one um, without merging it, I guess, and then testing it on GitHub. So the way that I tend to do it when I'm breaking stuff like this is yeah. I've got my own local fork and I just commit a whole bunch of stuff to master on my own fork. A lot of force pushes. Okay. And, you know, I'll just keep changing whatever I had originally pushed up there, force push a fix. And then I've hopefully got it down to just one commit whenever I get it working. But that's my new normal workflow is I do it on my own personal branch instead of okay. the- Okay, that's probably what I'll do then before doing anything here. Cause um, yeah, I just don't actually know if this yeah. works. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Looks good. I, yeah, I, like I mean, it, with it. it looks okay. And it's, it's pretty simple. It's just doing go format, go test, but I, I'm not totally sure if it's right. Okay, so I will play with that before merging it. Um, and causing a bunch of problems on this repo. Yeah, the, um, the Go Fumped, when you're running that one, Go Format, depending on who wants to pronounce yeah. it, that one I usually just have that integrated into my editor. And so if you're doing VS Code and you turn on the Go plugin, it'll just do that automatically on every save. Yeah, I, um, I didn't have it enabled and then I fixed that locally, but I figured I'd also just make sure that other people do it by having it here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not saying don't do it in the... CI, but just thinking, catch it before CI catches it on top of you. Yeah, make make the, the history a little bit cleaner by not having a bunch of format fixes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, yeah. We don't all agree on the output, but we agree that having a common output looks good for everything, and so we just go with it. Yeah, and this and it's kind of nice that Go defines it for you, unlike Python, yeah. where everybody has their own independent it, version of the Skylar Guide. It eliminate all the tabs versus spaces and everybody wants spaces, but they pick tabs and we'll just go with it anyway, just yeah. because just it keeps us all the same. Work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a special line in my, my, my VimRC for Go files to make sure that it doesn't get rid of all the tabs. <laughs> it's like the only one. Anyway. <laughs> Switch from that to YAML files and all of a sudden everything breaks. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so that's that. That was, that was amazingly quick. Only two people makes these things go quick. Yeah, a lot less less debates. We just have two of us. <laughs> no bike shedding of loud. Yep. Um, I guess we can take a minute to see if there's any other um, things to add to, to here, action items to eventually get to. But um, I mostly opened a bunch of vague issues saying, you know, do verification <laughs> and, and stuff. So it's, it's um, I don't yeah, know. kind of the my targets of the scripter that was as vague as it got pretty much one line yeah. issue. But I figured at least you and I knew what it meant. So yeah, exactly. And, and I know what that means. I need to do. It's just, that, yeah. Yeah. I guess I can add that to the, the project board. Are you able to do that by the way? Um, um, let's see. I'm just curious. Projects done yet. And I have no clicky clicky over there okay. under the projects where you cool. do. So I, so. I, I do. Ahead. So I guess that means something I have to do. Which is yeah. fine. <laughs> Try to remember what the permission is for that because there is permission to be able to set labels and other things that people have given me in the past. But yeah, I don't know if I have permission to give other people permission, but if I do, I could give you that. <laughs> um, or whatever, I can just do it too. Yeah. Um, I'm one, I'm the kind of person that is always happy to delegate to someone else. So if you're happy to do it, go for it. Yeah, at least for now, while well, there's mostly yeah. two of us working on this, it's not that, that bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's mostly it. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to talk about. Um, nope, so far I, I know that uh, kind of left you running on this one solo, but um, no, it's fine. Yeah, hopefully I'll get some more free time that I can help out with this maybe over the holidays, we'll see. Cool. It's, yeah, so I'm trying to keep it organized enough that other people can contribute. So let me know if you have any questions about that. But yeah, the big one I need to look at is in um, the the go tough one because I I figure that might be an actual 
hopefully an easy one to do a little bit of reworking on that side to make this something easy to put an interface on. Yeah, that would be, that would be great. I think actually a lot of the, the harder things actually, I think are going to be on the GoTuff side. This is mostly just putting things together, I think, on the, in this part. So. Yeah. And if you have questions on how this stuff should be organized inside of a registry, feel free to throw those over at me. That's, I've got yeah. opinions on how OCI does things. And so John and I, you know. Yeah, that would be great. I'll keep tagging on this to make sure yeah. I'm approaching that correctly, but yeah. But from um, what I've seen so far, it looks, I don't think we've hit the point where we're going to find the issues on that one yet, but when we do, feel free to ping me. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right. 15 minutes, make it a speed meeting. Yeah, it's great. Give give you a whole 45 minutes to knock another couple of issues out, hopefully. Yeah, maybe I can probably open a PR in 45 minutes, see how it goes. There you go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, on that note, have a great weekend, Marina. You too. All right. Bye. Talk to you later.